Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about the draft. The draft is one of the most exciting days for hockey fans. This is where you can get prospects to build up your teams. Some exciting trades go down on this day, but today we are going to be looking at the top 10 NHL draft prospects in the 2021 draft. And at first overall, we have Atu Ratti. So, I know I said his name wrong, but he is a Swedish forward. He, I would compare him, with the highlights I've seen so far, I would compare him to Austin Matthews. He just turned 18 years old. He's six foot one. He's a very good skater. He's got some very good puck skills. So, you might want to compare him to Mitch Marner, but I love his shot. He's only 181 pounds, but he has very good physical traits and he did all right in the 2020 world juniors but he didn't do as good as he could have done he could have done better but he did pretty good now on to number two so at number two i have owen power some people have him at five some people have him at one i've seen people put ratty at seven it's all over the place so now we go on to the top ranked defenseman in the draft. And he is a great defenseman. Six foot five, two hundred and fourteen pounds. And he is very, very good defensive or offensive defenseman, sorry. Um he's a lot like Cam York. I've seen people say he's like Victor Hedman, which I don't know if he's gonna be that good. Also Chris Pronger. <laughs> It's pretty hard to be that good, but he is a pretty good player, and as a Blackhawks fan, I want us to drop and pick him. He could go first. He could go around seventh. Who knows? This draft is so close with all of these good players. So now at number three, I have Dylan Gunther, I believe is how you say it. So at the start of the season, it took Gunther a bit of time to adjust to the higher skill level with his first 11 games he only got four points and then in his last 45 he got 24 goals 55 points so he had a good end of the season he didn't have a very good start he wasn't used to the speed and the skill of this league he was more used to playing in minors and um he won the Rookie of the Year, actually. He's a very, very good left winger. And I feel like he could be a top-line winger someday. At number four overall, I have Luke Hughes, brother to Jack Hughes and Quinn Hughes. Luke Hughes is the youngest player available in this draft. So I feel like he will be a lot like Quinn Byfield of last year, where he has a high ceiling but he is not as NHL ready as everyone else is around his spot. But he has phenomenal skating ability. Um, his one of his coaches even told ESPN that he is the he could be the best skater in the entire family. Um, he just turned seventeen, and he is looking very promising. So that's a good sign for him. At number five, I have Cole Sillinger. Cole Sillinger might be my favorite player in this draft. He is very, very good. I honestly think he would have won a WHL Rookie of the Year if it wasn't for injuries. And honestly, I could see him climbing up in this draft rankings. Um, he has a quick release with a crazy shot. An insane shot and it does not take him long for him to release the puck and he's just an all-around hard-working very good all-around player okay so I know I said that I would include 10 players but at this point I want to get the video up today and I wouldn't be able to do that unless I cut it off here so Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see me next, do the next five to get to ten, then comment down below, like this video, hit the subscribe button. 
do all that, and that'll help me out, and I'll do another one. All right, see ya.